Hey, what's happening? It's Nick with Lone Star Boot Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Roscoe from Ruho Boots. Now, Ruho Boots is a brand new company based right here in Dallas, and I'm excited to review these because I always want to support local companies, and so many other companies that have come out in recent years are based out of Austin, Texas. I love Austin as well. I've got no problem with that, but I'm excited to have a brand new company based right here where I live. Now, Rujo's coming at you with handmade boots from Leon, Mexico, and we all know Leon produces some great boots. Now, they have three different toe shapes. They've got a medium round with a standard cowboy heel. They've got a stockman boot, which is a wide square toe with a stockman heel, and they also have ropers. Now, all three of those styles come in cowhide as well as some exotics. Now, they also have some really cool looking women's styles available. They're all snip toe, but they have some in a 12 inch shaft and they have like a booty with a little eight inch shaft on it. Now, Ruho has done a great job of marketing so far. They've had some really cool ads that they've featured on Facebook and other social medias. So they're doing a really great job of rolling out their first line of boots. And I think everybody can find something that they like. Now, all of Ruho's boots come with a cork filler in the sole. They have a double rib steel shank, and they have what they call the cloud walk technology, which is their insole. It's non-removable, but it's a really high quality memory foam that's covered in leather, and I'm excited to see it and try it out. All right, so now that that's all out of the way, what do you say we take a look at these boots? Okay, so taking a look at the box, I think it's really nice. It's classy looking and understated, but they've got a really cool logo and it has their motto on it, which is be real. So I like the way this looks. Now, as you saw, the boots are packaged real well inside the box and I've got a little note here. So let's see what this is. Okay, so it's got a little card giving their story and what they're all about. If you want to read that, you can pause now. Then they have a boot care guide here. Again, pause if you'd like to read that. Now they also have a card here with their return and exchange policy. It is free returns and free exchanges. And that's always nice because ordering online sometimes can be a little tricky getting the correct size, especially with a newer company that you're not familiar with. So if you order them and you open them up and you really like them, but the size isn't quite right, just ship them back and they'll send you another pair free of charge. And if you don't like them, send them back and they'll refund your money, no questions asked. They also provide the return shipping label right here in the box. Now the other thing I would like to mention, this is gonna be an extended test. I am doing my first impression now and I'm gonna try them on and tell you what I think. But I'm going to be wearing them around for a couple of weeks so that I can give you my final thoughts and go into detail how comfortable they were and what I really think about them. Also, you're going to love this. There's going to be a giveaway for a pair of these boots. So one of you lucky viewers is going to get a pair of Ruho boots in the style of your choice sent to your home for free. And I'm really excited about that. I know you guys are too. Now this contest is available for men and women. All you ladies out there, you can pick a ladies boot of your choice as well. So stick around to the end of the video to make sure you find out how to enter the contest. Guys, this does have a really nice leather smell, which is surprising because it's Cayman, but the shaft leather is so nice that it's not quite intoxicating leather smell, but it is a pretty strong leather smell. All right, so these boots, my initial thought is this is a really nice looking Cayman. It's very supple, very soft, and it just looks real classy. I really like that. The shafts have some nice cording and design on them. You can see it's got the cording, but then it also has this little it's like cording, but it's in a design. It's not just a straight piece. It's got overlays of the Cayman on the pull tabs, which is really nice looking. Now it's one piece here on the counter of Cayman. And then on the side, it's another piece. And then you have another piece here down to the side of the front. And then the top of the vamp is another piece. And that's the same on both sides. All right, so it's got a stockman heel on it here. 
It's a stacked leather heel. Now it's a wide square toe, double stitch welt. The stitching on the welt looks really nice. It's very even all the way around. It's got their logo here. It's got some brass nails and lemon wood pegs. That's always nice to see because you get the best of both worlds. But guys, this feels like a really nice piece of Cayman. It's very soft. It's not stiff at all. The scales look really nice. It's just a really nice looking boot. I also like the way it's finished out right here on the welt where it meets the waist of the boot. Sometimes you'll get a boot and it's kind of a steep drop off right there with a little ledge. And this one's finished really nice. The transition looks really smooth there. Now these boots are leather lined and it's got the hidden seams there, which is really nice. I really like that touch on a boot. It really keeps it from rubbing the inside of your leg and causing some irritation. I don't normally have that problem because my ankles and calves are like the skinniest you've ever seen. But a lot of people with wider calves do and I think that's a nice touch. The leather on the shaft is really nice. It's a little bit soft, but the way it feels and with all that cording on there, I don't think you're gonna have a problem with it sagging too much, especially if you put something like a boot shaper up here in the top, that'll really prevent it from sagging, but it feels really nice. It's a real high quality leather. The leather lining goes all the way through the foot. That's always nice. And then the insole, like I said, it's Cloudwalk technology. And I'll be honest, I was a little concerned when I heard it was memory foam, but this feels really nice. It's a, it's a high density memory foam. It's not super squishy. So it feels really nice. It's got just the right amount of give to it and cushion. And my first impression is that this is going to be really comfortable when I try it on. It says Ruho Be Brave in there. Can you see that? And then the insole has that logo as well on the heel there. So now that we've done the unboxing and initial reaction, what do you say we try these on? There's a little bird's eye shot for you. I really like the way these look. I think they look really nice. I like the Cayman. It's a nice looking Cayman. And I like the square toe on it. It's not a, not one of those that like flares out at the toe. It kind of tapers in just a little bit. It's nice looking. So a couple of things I didn't mention earlier. These have an 11 and a half inch shaft. And normally I prefer like a 12 to 14 inch shaft because like I said, I have really skinny calves and the shorter shafts, my pants tend to fall down inside the top of the boot. But these are a little bit narrower, so I'm not having that issue. And to, for me, in my opinion, that's a big plus because I have such skinny calves. Now, the other thing is these come in at only $290, which is a fantastic price for a Cayman boot. Honestly, I was shocked when he told me that. I don't remember recently that I have seen a Cayman boot at that low of a cost. So another big plus. Now I ordered an 11D because that's my usual size in most brands and they fit me perfectly. I mean, they are just the perfect amount of snug on top, little bit of heel slip, and my toes have plenty of room. It's just, it's an absolute perfect fit. They look fantastic in my opinion. I just love them. It's really nice looking Cayman. It's really soft. It's not stiff at all. So I think there's going to be little to no break in time. And that Cloudwalk technology insole, it feels really good. When I heard it was memory foam, I was concerned. I thought, it was going to be thick and squishy and soft, and it's not that at all. It's a thinner foam and it's high density. 
So it's not squishy at all. It feels really nice. It gives you the right amount of cushion to make it comfortable, but not overly squishy. So I really like that. It's a really comfortable insole. So far, it's a very comfortable boot. I am doing an extended test, so I'll be wearing them around, you know, about town, in the house, everywhere for a couple of weeks to get a really good feel for how they break in, how they hold up, and what the comfort level is after wearing them for a while. And I'll give you that in my final thoughts. So, I normally say let's go up top, but what do you say we go about town and find out how these things are? All right, guys, so I've been working from home since late February or early March due to COVID. And there's just a few things that I don't have the capability to do here at home. So I got to head into the office this morning, probably spend about a half day there. And I'm going to wear my Rujos today, let you guys know how they're doing, how they're feeling. And then after that, we, uh, we're going to go to the park behind my house take a nice long walk and really get some insight into these things as to how comfortable they are, how they're breaking in, all that good stuff. So I wanted y'all to come along with me and check it out. Anyways, we're gonna go head to the truck and head to the office and I'll talk to y'all after a while. All right guys, so I'm in it to work, it's about 9 a.m. And this is a pretty high security area, so you can't go in with me, but I will see you at the park after a while. This is one of my favorite spots out here on this lake. Really pretty. So I uh, worn the boots around for a while and they held up really nice. They're breaking in great. There's like zero break in time on these guys. And uh, I mean, they're just comfortable as all get out. The, the insole is really soft. It feels really good on your arch. All in all, this is just a really, really comfortable boot. And uh, I couldn't be happier with them, honestly. So, taking y'all through the woods a little bit around the park. I think I'm going to head home and uh, we'll set up and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so final thoughts. I had a lot of fun testing out these boots. As you saw, I wore them to work, I wore them to the park, and I even actually had a funeral that I had to go to and I wore those for that. I didn't want to film it though, for obvious reasons. But these things just held up great. There is zero break-in time on these, I promise you. Super soft, super supple. The soles held up great. I mean, I don't put a lot of hardware on my soles 
honestly, but you can see that the logo isn't even rubbed off yet. So you can see, got a little mud here on the heel. When I was out in the park, you guys saw it was kind of rainy, kind of muddy, and I got water and dirty water and mud on the boots. I came home, I simply wiped them down with a damp rag, hit it with some Scout exotic conditioner, and they look brand new, um, cleaned up beautifully. So earlier, I thought that this was a wooden block heel because I could not see, and I still, to the naked eye, cannot see any lines in this heel. I'm gonna hold that up and hopefully it's coming through better on the camera because what I did is I actually took a picture and zoomed in really far and I could see that it is in fact a stacked leather heel. It is just finished better, honestly, than any stack leather heel I've ever seen. I mean, I still, to my naked eye, I can't even see the lines. It is done so well. There's just, you know, these boots are finished out so nice. I really like it. It's very comfortable. That insole is just awesome. For a non-removable insole, this is one of the best ones I've felt. You know, I am just so impressed with Ruho boots, you guys. I think this is a really high quality boot at a great price point. This came in coming in at $290. I mean, that's unheard of. And it's in a cool wide square toe. Of course, they have other options as well. I love this Roscoe boot by Ruho. And I think anybody who's in the market or looking for some new boots should definitely check Ruho boots out because I think you're going to like them. I don't really see anything on this boot that somebody wouldn't like. It's just, it's just a great looking boot and it's super comfortable. So yes, they definitely get the Lone Star stamp of approval. All right, guys, now let's get down to the good stuff, the giveaway. One of you lucky viewers out there is going to win a pair of Ruho boots of your choice. You can pick any boot on their website. Now this goes for men and women. For the men, they've got these wide square toe models. They've got a roper. They've got like a medium round Western boot. The women, they have some snip toes. I know the Cayman and I believe the ostrich as well is like a triad pattern where it's it would be the Cayman on the front and then on the heel cap here and then the shaft down through the middle of the boot here is all calf hide. It looks really cool. I think you're going to love it. So to be entered, I'm going to need you to do a few different steps. So bear with me, but it's going to be worth it. I promise you. I want you to like this video. I want you to comment below. Be brave, which is Ruho's tagline. I want you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And then I need you to send me an email to LoneStarBootReviews at gmail.com and I'll put that down in the description. In the subject, put Ruho Giveaway. And then I need you in the body of the email to tell me your YouTube name so that I can verify you've done all the steps. And then I also want you to just put yes or no. And what that is, is answering this question. Would you like to be added to my email list I'm putting together? I'm gonna to use the email list to keep everybody informed of updates and news of the channel, contests and giveaways, things of that nature. So if you're interested, just let me know yes or no. All right guys, so that's all I got for today. Check out Ruho Boots. I know you're gonna love them as much as I do. Good luck to everybody in the giveaway. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to all my subscribers, and thank you to everybody who's watching. Please check out my Patreon link down below, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Take it easy.